Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Pisces for September 2021. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. So I've already put out general readings and love readings for the, um, for the collective for September. Um, but I decided I might as well do some extra love readings for you guys as an additional thank you for your um, love and support. So I'm very grateful to you all. Okay, so um, I'm going to start off with the Radiant Ride Away Tarot deck and then we'll later on get into some other oracle cards and some love messages from your person. So obviously um, this could be for yourself this reading or for your love interest. So obviously just use your own discernment and flip the roles as you best see fit for yourself but please do not make the story fit, okay? So if it, res if it resonates, then that's, that's great. Um, if parts of the message resonate, then that's cool as well. If it doesn't resonate, then it's just simply not your message, okay? So um, let's get into your reading. So this is for Pisces, September 2021. One more shuffle. Sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. Okay, angels of love and light, what can you please get? concise messages for Pisces for love in September 2021. Thank you. Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay, I'll take those. Four of Cups in reverse. Well, there's a lot of cups here, guys. A lot of emotion. So, obviously, you guys are a water sign. So either you or someone's dealing with a lot right now. Four of, five, four of cups, seven of cups, and then eight of cups. Gosh. Page of pentacles kind of came out sideways. Oof. Chariot kind of came out sideways. What else? Ace of swords in the reverse. King of pentacles in the reverse. One more for Pisces. We have, oh, that looked like it wanted to come out as well. So I will take that as that came with that. So we have Judgment and Six of Wands. We have the star underneath. Okay, so hopefully you can see the cards okay. Um, yeah, okay. So the signs that are available here. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, obviously the water sign energy with the Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. We have Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Um, Cancerian energy here with the Chariot. We have Sagittarian like fire energy here with the Judgment. Aries Leo Sagittarius here with the Six of Wands in reverse. And we have Gemini Libra Aquarius with the Ace of Swords. Aquarius energy here with the Star and then the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, look at this um, with the fixed signs. So Aquarius, um, Scorpio. Um, Taurus and Leo energy. Look at this. Okay, right. So, well, what you don't see is um, with this star energy and the Wheel of Fortune, and potentially here with the King of Wands. There's there's someone that is very passionate about you, and they would like to heal your particular connection and move things forward. And I'm getting this sense that um, this could potentially be new love. It could be someone from the past wanting to return to have a reconciliation of sorts. Um, or you may, um, this person may have let go of someone else or something else in order to come forward towards you here with the page of pentacles. They may have had to make a, a particular decision in their life and they may have realized that they want to come forward and choose you here with the page of, pen with page of pentacles. I was going to say page of pentacles. We've got the page of pentacles up here. Maybe they want to come forward with you and offer because um, I was saying that with this here being a block so potentially there's page of pentacles someone's not coming forward as of right now but they want to but there's a block of some sorts before someone coming in but they want to have a new beginning and to have something starting off fresh. So I'm getting this indication you could be dealing with a fire sign or any other sign, but someone's trying to let go of something. Um, they've made a decision and they're realizing they want to have a brand new beginning and take the leap of faith and have something relatively stable um, and work with someone. Like not necessarily, they just want to work well together in a relationship, something that's reliable, maybe long term, 
potentially this could be someone from work, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be. But I'm getting the sense that either you or this person may have had to make some um, really difficult choices in their life before that they could come forward towards you. Um, maybe they've had to detach from something um, or deal with some sort of issues to do with their finances I'm getting or a home situation, something along those lines. But I'm getting the sense that someone may be turning their back on an unhealthy, potentially a toxic relationship um, in order to be able to have an, a brand new beginning and take that leap of faith into the unknown by following their heart's desire and having something brand new. Um, so that's potentially something that could be like the backstory of what's going on for someone. Yeah, either you or someone may have been very let down in another relationship of sorts, or someone's gone through a breakup to do with maybe an unhappy home. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Ten of Wands and then double tens here with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So someone could have been dealing with an unhappy home, taking the brunt of the responsibilities to do with that type of situation. Um, maybe if someone... Um, was married to someone else they may have sacrificed um, love and kind of married for money rather than um, than for love and potentially someone may have not had very much in common emotionally with someone else and they've realized they've had to go through a long cycle to realize what their actual wish fulfillment is um, in their life what's going to give them the satisfaction maybe they maybe they were in denial about what was going to make them happy so potentially um, they stayed in something because the grass was greener, I'm getting. But I'm getting the sense that potentially if there's someone coming towards you, that that's, that could be something that they have personally gone through themselves, um, but they may not necessarily have shown you as of yet. I'm just getting this indication that someone wants to be able to come forward and work on a connection with you. Um, but I'm also getting the sense that potentially you may be unsure whether this person is actually in a pos position to be able to commit to you or not. And I'm getting the sense that potentially they may not be um, totally ready to come forward with a full on commitment or anything of sorts because their stability financially may not necessarily be um, where it needs to be here with the King of Pentacles in reverse. There's a block here with the finances of offering something. Um, so I'm getting this indication that someone's not going to be able to follow through necessarily on your connection as of yet, even though that we have saw the potential here later on in these cards um, and somebody wants to kind of bring something to you, somebody wants to work on something, but there is um, no movement moving forward right now and um, potentially someone may feel like they're in um, between a rock and a hard place before actually taking the reins of like their life taking action and moving forward um potentially there may even be issues with travel i'm getting that someone may not be able to like travel towards you right now and that's quite logical here where we've had the um the pandemic and etc so someone may feel like if you guys live at quite a distance from each other that it may not necessarily be possible right now to come forward towards you um, but I'm getting this sense that whoever you're dealing with, potentially they have their eyes on the prize to do with their finances right now and that their career is actually the most important thing to them right now. And I don't feel like that's necessarily because they're prioritising themselves over you because they don't feel emotion for you. I'm just getting the sense this person's not feeling um, stable in themselves. And like if they they wouldn't be able to like kind of take you out like i'm getting this sense that if they wanted to take you out on a date they wouldn't be able to and i'm getting this sense that um because potentially if they're going through all those double tens that we saw earlier and they're going through a change around in their life and something having to come in um they're having to end something major in their life so they had double tens we saw earlier completing of a cycle and then we've got 10 here with the wheel of fortune for you as well so things will eventually turn around in their favour, but most likely your favour as well. So if, if this, this is like a, a true soulmate connection, um, then potentially that's, you know, kind of on the cards that things could move on forward with you guys. OK, but I'm also getting the sense that someone's getting to the kind of um, they're awakening to the idea that they may be very focused on their career and potentially you may feel a little bit like abandoned or left out in the cold and this person wants to wants to make sure 
So there, there may be there may be no communication between you right now. There'll be maybe a lack of contact, but I'm getting the sense that someone's not kept contacting you because they feel maybe a little bit insecure about their finances. So they may be a little bit cold and a bit distant and potentially have their guard up in relation to coming forward towards you um, because their finances aren't necessary in the way that they want to be right now. And potentially they're feeling relatively um, disappointed that they can't move forward. Okay. Um, potentially, I mean, this person, you, you may feel that... Um, if they were to come forward towards you do you know what i'm getting what i'm getting predominantly is if this person was to come forward towards you i'm getting the sense that they they kind of know that they would break your heart because you may be relatively disappointed that you and them can't move on forward and that they would have to kind of ask for your forgiveness and kind of accept a situation with how it is right now and to see if you guys would still be able to move on forward together, but potentially, and heal something, but they may just feel like they're not in the place of where they want to be as of right now. So what I'm also getting is that someone may be like not saying very much because they could be trying to avoid particular issues. Um, they may have had fear of commitment previously in another situation that could be potentially why that other relationship if it was a long-term thing that didn't necessarily work out um, but I'm getting also that if there, there's been confusion on their part but also your part there's going to be some sort of resolved issues because there may have been unresolved issues for quite some time. And I'm now getting this sense that um, this person is eventually wanting to come forward towards you. Um, but they kind of need to get their, their head out the clouds, basically. They may have been the head in the clouds, focusing on their finances and may have kind of, you may have felt relatively rejected in the fact that they haven't been communicating or they may not necessarily have been contacting you. Um, but they do have an interest in you, but potentially, but potentially they, if they've been in another relationship or another situation, they're trying to kind of ditch that in order to move on forward in their life. But there's potentially quite a few blocks or there's been confusion or you may be very much out in the dark unsure about how to move on forward in your life um but i'm getting the sense that you may feel like you've you've potentially been waiting a while for this particular person to come around but i'm getting this sense of not to kind of wait around for this person and just to kind of um carry on working on yourself moving yourself forward and then eventually getting to the point where you know you're clear about exactly what it is that you want in your, in your sense for a relationship and then this person has the opportunity to figure out what they want after they've got to that stable place where they necessarily want to be in their life i'm picking that up up relatively strongly okay so what i feel called to do is i'm going to pull from the island time wellness love oracle cards and see what kind of messages we can get for you guys so what's happening for Pisces for September 2021? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, please. I mean, you may be feeling like, you, you may feel like, okay, well, you've, you may have not had some sort of clarity from this person, but with me giving, potentially giving you this message, you may receive this clarity and you may decide, okay, well, I'm going to move on. And it may not necessarily be moving on for this per from this person. Like you may have like a soft spot for this person, but you may be more open to um, go out on the dating scene, as it were. Like, you know, you may have romance from another admirer that's kind of been waiting in the wings for you if you've been very involved with this other person. Um, so that could be a potential, um, situation as well, I'm getting, but you and this other person, 
there may be you may not be necessarily on the same page as of right now because they're very focused on their finances or if they are busy off elsewhere then um yeah they they just um they just could have a lot to do with their finances that aren't where they want to be um Okay, yeah, so what have we got for Pisces, please, for September? Wedding rings, look at this. Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So I said that earlier, that potentially you may feel that you have a soul connection with this person. And potentially, you know, they do see a, a longer term uh, connection for you. Or if there's a new love coming in, then there could be a potential for a brand new so con a set, a soul connection. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance and flexibility. Yes, somebody wants to be able to have the finances and the stability because they want to be able to eventually turn things around to be able to be in a position where they are stable but be able to like potentially offer commitment of sorts. So they could be dealing with something or someone else right now that could be preventing them from doing that. I'm getting the sense that if they have children, like they could be having to pay out like child support or something like this. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. So they could be dealing with someone else um, who stabbed them in the back and that's potential. You know, they may have lied or deceived them about a financial situation. If there's to do pertaining to a third party, um, that's quite possible. Or if they are dealing with a third party, there may have been um, infidelity of sorts or a bit of jealousy in the mix from somebody um, potentially being able to move on forward to another connection and they're not wanting them to. Sword and the Rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection and power. Yeah, so somebody's going to find out the truth about something. If, if there's been no truth or not much communication being spoken out loud, um, something's going to be coming forward where people will be able to be on the same page. You look, you may get some sort of clarity to do with a third party situation um, here with the seduction card or someone is going to open up and say that they're attracted to you, um, but potentially they've been dealing with something else. Yeah, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So they could have been in a, another situation. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing with the golden mirror. So I'm getting the sense that oh, either you or this person um, has been dealing um, with something or someone else that has been um, difficult. Look at this. We have lightning, we have mirror and we have engagement rings. So we have wedding rings and we have wedding rings. Like really? So, there's going to be a sudden epiphany of sorts. Um like there's going to be a sudden epiphany and look what it wants to come out of the cards as well abundance so someone eventually will get to a point where they're feeling abundant in their life um yeah there's definitely passion in a relationship or in a connection of sorts and you like each other um but potentially someone may feel that you're moving on if you're not kind of sticking around for this other person i don't know why i'm kind of shuffling more cards why am i doing that okay healthy choices regardless you or your person's going to make healthier choices um self-care looking after themselves being happier choosing self-love and then we have clock here and these time takes time and time cycles time to heal and progress there will eventually be progress in a connection but i'm getting the sense that um there's there's a lot that needs to be done yeah break up separation stop the pattern abandonment and silent treatment so someone Someone may be um, stopping another commitment to be able to move forward in something else or even just to kind of move off and be single so that they're in a healthier mindset because potentially um, someone may not necessarily be in the right headspace um, to go forward with a potential romantic relationship or not feel right for dating. Um, so the, the feelings might not necessarily if there's any romantic feelings they may not necessarily be expressed as of right now because someone i'm just getting this sense that someone's trying to keep their head down um and they're they're working 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 so we've got the romance angels here by drawing virtue see what additional messages we can get for you guys here 
So obviously please take or leave what resonates and leave the rest. Ooh. Honeymoon and it came out reverse. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So somebody, like I was skinning that earlier that you may live at a distance from someone um, and they want to kind of be closer together but you can't really go anywhere as of right now. Um, someone, and this is it, someone wants to be able to go away and kind of move on forward your relationship but they feel like they can't do it right now. You know, I mean, we've had the wedding rings card, we got the engagement ring and now we've got the honeymoon card. Like, I mean, really? So, I mean, it's, it's, this is it. Engagement, wedding and honeymoon. That's the order, isn't it? Really? And there's chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So there's definitely... I'm just getting the sense that this, this person's not able to do it as of right now. And they kind of... They kind of want you to know that they're trying to work on what they need to work on. To be able to get moved forward what else can you tell us for pisces look at this trust the situation is calling for you to have faith so have trust and knowing that things are moving in the right direction for you potentially you may feel like you're not trusting of this person calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so yes you could be dealing um very much with a soulmate um soul connection we kind of got that gist of that earlier here with the Wheel of Fortune, sense of destiny coming into play here with the Judgment card, the Star, the Wheel of Fortune, like, you know, um, yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and romance will, will, will bring you romance. And there's passion. Well, we know there's passion there and we saw the passion card earlier. Um, I'm going to take one more. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yes, they have the feelings, but they're having to hold back. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh my gosh. Like, look, really? <laughs> oh, You may have been really doubting about whether this person is actually your soulmate because there's been lack of communication or feelings haven't been expressed or um, there may be no contact for quite some time potentially so that's what I'm also getting but um, I feel like what I'm going to do now is pull from the soulmates in separation unspoken love messages by the serendipity tarot and see what either you want to say to your person or what your person wants to say to you okay see what we can get for Pisces please sun moon rising and Venus I'd also just, um, as another kind of um, saying, that potentially this person may get relatively jealous quite easily and they may be relatively possessive. Um, so if that's not something that you're kind of really into um, and you're a little bit wary about that, I, I would just kind of um, be relatively cautious. It's not to say, you know, um, some people are kind of into that thing. They don't mind uh, if someone's, you know, really into them, etc., etc. But I'm getting the sense that this person may be very into you because we have the wedding ring, the engagement ring. We have, you know, the abundance card potentially being here together, sh you know, honeymoon and all sorts of different things. So I'm getting this sense that there's, there's just, um, it's just something to kind of look out for. What do they want to say to you when you say to them? What's going on for Pisces, please? Did that flip over? Yes. I was dishonest with you and myself. I lived one big lie. Okay, so potentially if they didn't express their feelings to you, like they had lots of them and they didn't express them, they potentially were lying to themselves. Um, yeah, they could have been lying to themselves or... Yeah... I have not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. Yeah, so you may have thought that this person retreated from you, um, doesn't really care, they're very cold, no communication, but actually they're trying to build on, they might be trying to build on their foundation um, so that they could have something a lot more solid with you.
I feel ashamed for how I treated you. You did not deserve that. So yeah, I mean, if they have been dishonest, if they have been cold, if they have been withdrawn, they guard up. Um, deliver me from temptation. So they could have potentially have had options previously. And they may be realising that you are the kind of the only option. And now they're kind of getting themselves out of something. And that's why they want to bring all this with you. There we go. I struggle with love and expressing it. It does not come easy for me. So this person struggles with their feelings. They struggle to express their feelings. And um, so if you are dealing with an earth sign or an air sign, they could struggle with that. Um, especially here with all this water up here, which is kind of you guys. So potentially this person just may have difficulty with expressing their emotions. Um, you know, and they've just been very much like... Uh, business minded or career orientated for quite some time or they could have just been dealing with a, a family issue or etc all sorts of things um so obviously please please take or leave whatever resonates anyway guys so i hope that you have enjoyed the reading if you did please like share and subscribe leave us a comment i greatly appreciate it and we'll see you guys again soon so take care bye for now